Hello people, my name is Magne and welcome to this series where I take you along my journey from being a complete camera novice to hopefully working as a filmmaker. This far I've made a few free videos for clients and now I'll take these videos around to cafes and stores and see if I can land more jobs. You will also see that this is not as straightforward as it may sound, but I do have a trick up my sleeve. That will definitely help holding me accountable when things get difficult. All right, it's a new year and it's time to make this career change become a reality. Today I'm gonna go around in the city and try to get some work. I'm gonna set the goal of finding two companies or two stores that I'm gonna make a video for free for and uh, take it from there. Yeah, and I don't really have any plan on what kind of store. I'm thinking maybe a cafe or somewhere where there is not too many people. I'm just gonna make the plan as I go along. <laughs> Some days are more difficult than others. Today was the first day in a really long time I did this cold calling. So I walked around for half an hour coming up with all kinds of excuses not to approach any stores. Either it was too many customers inside or they sold the wrong products. But then something pretty interesting happened. I was approached by a street seller of some kind, but I quickly responded that I needed to get going. But this micro interaction got my social extrovert engine going. So now I finally had the courage to walk into a store that creates customized tables. The guy in the store was super friendly and we discussed for a while what kind of video that would be suitable for him. He was busy for the next few weeks, but he wanted a video. So I'll present him with a video idea or an outline in a few weeks time. With this momentum, I went into a food delicacy store. Jeg kommer inn nå fordi jeg har ikke begynt å lage litt Instagram-videoer til forskjellige litt butikker og kafé. And to put the long story short, it's a tiny store that quickly sells out, so it wouldn't have made sense with further marketing for him. No results here, but definitely an uplifting interaction. I was not impressed by my performance yesterday, so I'm going to go out today as well for a short like half an hour hour to see if I can get a new video project going. I'm looking forward to having done this for a little longer so I can build some momentum and uh, that it's going to get a lot easier. Now the bar is pretty high to get in contact with someone, but it's getting lowered every time I go into a store. Today I felt even less ready to walk up to strangers and ask them to do business. So it just ended up being a half an hour walk. I realized that I do need a push. So I'm going to use this trick that is going to make it impossible for me not to make progress. I call it Accountability Partner 2.0. Okay, Espen. Here is 1,000 kroner. I want you to take them. These are yours now. And I want you to give me 100 kroner back for every shoot that I managed to land within the next four weeks. Great, so it's 10 shoots and if you only have five, then you, it costs you 500. Yeah. We should do more of this actually. Yeah. Yeah. That's gonna work to keep us accountable for sure. I just received this electrical turntable, which is really gonna take my product videography to the next level, look at that. So I'm gonna try to make some cool, maybe watch commercials and whatever else I can find laying around. I think this is the perfect time to get into product photography and videography because for a long while now there's been the tendency towards people buying more things online instead of in stores. And with the pandemic things are just going even faster with uh, the store closures really just getting more and more frequent and people staying inside and of course buying things online at a greater rate. So that means that there's going to be higher competition to get people's attention online. I still haven't landed any more free or paid jobs, so it's just time to get back in the streets. Every day is sunshine in rainbows. I've been looking good trying to hit the mangoes. I then talked to the owner of an Indian street food place, but he told me basically that pandemic, forget about it. And then I went to a coffee roastery and donut factory, and that's really the perfect product for me to film. So I really want to make something for them. And, uh, I think I've made a plan that's gonna make it really difficult for them to say no, so uh, I'll show you tomorrow. 
Everyone's invited to my cookout. You and you and yours and even Uncle Greg. The next day I went back to the donut store to buy some donuts. And I'll make a short donut video teaser that I can show them with my request of potentially making more videos for them. Sunshine and rainbows. I've been feeling good, yeah, you know that it's true. You say that you love me, baby, what you trying to do? Okay, shooting time. I waited until it got dark so I can better have full control over the lighting. And I've just got this uh, real studio lamp that I'm gonna try for the first time. So let's see what I can come up with. Yeah, when you don't have all the gear you need, then you just gotta work with what you have. I'm in the middle of editing and I feel like the video is too much about cool transitions rather than just showing off the donuts in the best way possible that they would, would want. Have a look. But hey, at least I'm learning. I made some minor adjustments and I'll uh, go down to the shop again and see if I can you know, catch the owner because I would much rather show it to them in real life than, uh, than sending it through email. I think my chances are much better if I do that, so yeah. In my client hunt today, I'm getting some assistance from my friend Espen. Having someone to push you and to drive around, that's, that's great if you can get that, but someone to push you if you're not, if you feel insecure or if you're not ready to approach the store, then... Uh... You're so brave. I really uh, think you're the greatest salesman when you're, when you're going in there. You're, yeah, I just, I love what you do. Okay, that's what I needed. Yeah, like that was gonna work. Not interested. Right now they didn't have any web sales and stuff, so they told me I could come back. But they are just not now, basically. Okay, there is plenty of uh, stores in this street right next to us here, so I'm just gonna be, be late, late, set off. Satta. We're just gonna be set off here and I'm gonna try to get into as many stores as I can really and then Espen will pick me up when I'm done. I believe in you. Thank you. Broken in the trenches out here working on your image sharing love with all your peeps well I ain't really with it everyone's invited to my cookout you and you and your Okay I um, managed to get into three different places the first store, they already had a photographer, videographer, so nothing there. Yeah, and then I went to uh, like a olive delicacy store that sells olive oils and that kind of stuff. It was a pretty small brand and they were trying to do most of their videography by themselves. So she, told, she gave me the email and told me to send the mail, so I'll try. And then I went to uh, like a salad and wrap and smoothie kind of place. And they actually were right in the middle of uh, some merging or getting a new store or something. So she told me that they're actually in need of uh, someone to take care of their Instagram and social media. She gave me the email of the leader and I'm just gonna send her an email. And she was very positive in general because they actually need it. And this last place I went to was another food delicacy, olive, uh, olive oil, Italian, French kind of place. And they have 16 different stores in the, in the country or in the city. And she told me that their photographer is going on a maternal leave, if that's, yeah, yeah. If that's what it's called. Maternal leave, right? <laughs> Perfect timing. And they also had a video done by a freelancer not long ago. And she was very proud of that video and told me to check it out and to see what kind of style they go for. I'm, I'm hopeful. I'm hopeful. Mm. I'm really sorry for the bad filming quality when I'm out and about. I just find it so awkward to film outside, just in general. And especially when I'm out in the store and I'm talking with people and sort of sneak filming. It needs to be less shaky. And if you haven't watched the first couple of episodes in this series, you can uh, see them here. And I'm gonna write those emails 
to the stores I just went to and uh, just sit and wait for replies. Yeah, they're not going to reply, are they? Yeah, I might need to get out there again. I don't know. We'll see in the next episode.